Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are gonna see about Anona diversity and uses. Anona is a genus of flowering plants comes under the family Anonaceae. Let us see some varieties of Anona. The most popular variety is Anona squamosa. It is commonly known as custard apple. It is a slow growing deciduous shrub or small tree with a rounded or open crown can grow up to 6 meter tall. It is native to tropical Americas, West Indies and Caribbean. Widely distributed among Indonesia, Thailand and Taiwan. It was introduced to Southern Asia before 1590. The fruits of custard apple are sweet and creamy. The leaves are used in a decoction to treat dysentery and urinary tract infection. The powdered seeds are excellent vermifuge. The unripe fruits along with the leaves used to treat rheumatism. The seeds and leaves have effective insecticidal properties and it requires a tropical or subtropical climate for cultivation. Generally, all the Anona varieties are propagated through seeds only. Let us get into the next popular variety, Anona muricata. It is commonly known as Sarsap and Graviola. It is evergreen tree, can stand up to 8 meter tall, widely distributed among Central America, Northern South America, Caribbean and Tropical Asia, mostly seen in hillsides. This variety is commonly known for its anti-cancer properties. The leaf of the plant has been nicknamed as the cancer killer. It is also used in traditional medicine in the treatment of cancer. A dysfunctional apoptotic pathway is one of the main contributors to carcinogenesis. Anona muricata contains a high concentration of secondary metabolite compounds such as alkaloids, saphonins, terphenoids, flavonoids, cowmorins, and other lactones such as anthroquinones, tannins, phenols, phytosterols, and acetogenins. In these, acetogenins were induced cell cytotoxicity by inhibiting the mitochondrial complex 1. The growth and viability of liver cancer cell HEPG2 was inhibited with an ethanol extract of Anona muricata by trigger the apoptotic pathway by means of endoplasmic reticulum stress. For survival of pancreatic cancer cells, extracellular signal regulated kinase and phosphatidyl inositol 3 kinase pathways play an important role. Anona muricata extracts inhibits these two pathways, thus it decreases the viability of cancer cells. It also induces apoptosis in lung cancer cells. Treatments using Anona muricata offer an alternative choices besides chemotherapy and radiotherapy, especially for terminally ill patients, and also the juice of Anona muricata used in treatment of kidney diseases. And so, our next variety is Anona cherimola. It is commonly known as cherimoya. Cherimoya is a fast-growing, somewhat shrubby, deciduous, evergreen tree, can grow up to 8 meter tall. It is widely distributed among Peru, Bolivia and Ecuador. Fruits with white flesh of ripe cherimoya is sweet and juicy with strong flavor. Cherimoya contains nutrients like potassium and magnesium that may help lower the blood pressure. A decoction of skin of fruit relieve pneumonia. The seeds are crushed and used as insecticides. The next variety is Anona atimoya. It is a hybrid variety of Anona squamosa and Anona cherimola. It is a fast growing deciduous tree can grow up to 8 meter tall, also known as pineapple sugar apple. This variety is commonly cultivated in Taiwan, Cuba, Venezuela and Israel. There are two cultivars of this variety. One is Jeffner, which is Israeli cultivar and another one is Thompson, which is mostly cultivated in Brazil. The green fruit and seeds have vermicidal and insecticidal properties. Next is Anona reticulata, which is commonly known as Bullock's Heart and Red Custard Apple. It is a fast growing deciduous tree with a rounded or spreading crown, can grow up to 7 meter tall. The hard seeds are very toxic. All non fruit parts of a plant are quite toxic. It is widely distributed among Panama to Mexico and the Caribbean. It possesses several medicinal properties such as anthelmintic, analgesic, anti inflammatory, antipyretic, wound healing, and cytotoxic effects. Unripe fruits are rich in tannin used to treat diarrhea and dysentery and the leaves are employed in tanning and also yield a blue or black dye. The another variety is Anona glabra. It is commonly known as pond apple, distributed among South and Central America and West Indies, commonly seen in humid lowland areas and near coastal areas. The leaves are boiled to make tea which destroys flatworms and nematodes. The Bakken leaves combined with the Bakken leaves of Anona squamosa are used as sedative. The seeds serve as insecticide. The next and last variety is Anona crassiflora, commonly known as Marola. Marola is a deciduous tree with a dense elongate crown, can grow up to 8 meter tall, widely distributed in Paraguay and Brazil. The flesh is fibrous, succulent and sweet with strong pleasant aroma, generally found in semi-arid scrubland and barren lands. The seeds are used for treatment of snake bite. 
with all this i am concluding my presentation thank you